There we go. All right. So how are we doing this? Uh, you have armor on, so I'm I'm not even gonna test you. <laughs> I'm not even gonna test your gangster. That's for real. Don't turn this way. No, you don't, because you're blind as shit. <laughs> you're blind as shit. Shoots me, puts smoke down, and he screams, "I'm blind!" <laughs> You're right, I did. Damn right, I did. Come on. Don't you move, sweetheart. You guys are just making it too easy for me. No, you don't. You're fine. He needs backup. Come on. Did you bat a ring? Aim at the good part that I want. Did I say bat a ring? My bad. Back grapple. Back claw. Whatever the fuck. Grapple. Grapple gun. Grapnel gun. However the fuck you say it. Don't matter. Just do it. I gotta start using this more. I forget that I can do this. Come on, just get a little closer. Just get a little closer, yeah? Just, just get a little... I just... Oh, fuck. You kidding me? Come on, I, I just need you to... Get a little closer. Get a little, just get a little closer. Just a little closer. You know, just, just walk this way. Or you can volunteer as tribute. Yeah, you need some help. Get over there. ASAP. Ha! Get off me. Awesome. Alright. We gotta look out for ourselves. Oh man, you're all the way over there, so I can't really do nothing. Or, I can just do this. Come on, where's the uh, vantage point? Thank you. There you go. And then there was one. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Is this where I need to go anyways? Where did I need to go? Where's the, uh... Whatchamacallit? Let me get you down before you die. Was this the room with the guard that I need to protect or whatever? Hey man, you've been through a rough time. You look like you can need a hug. There you go. I'm in shock, all right. Can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm in shock, all right. All right. Can't believe what Nothing I'm else. Seeing. Thought he was gonna say something. Okay. Come here. Give me a hug. There you go. I'm in shock, all right. All right. I get it. It's a DLC. Hey there, buddy. Don't you shoot. He shot. Oh! I'm sorry. I, like, spaced out for a moment. I didn't even know it was a martial artist, dude. Cut that shit out. <laughs> you see him just flailing his arms. Well, now that I don't have my electro gloves, I can't do that anymore. But I can't walk down here. Evacuate this lab of cryo vapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. But first, before I do all of that, 
I need to give this man a hug. There you go. Holy thanks. Thank you. Aw. I felt it. I felt that thanks. It warmed my heart. All right. Doing good things, making me feel good. Why do I feel like if I walk right through here, I'm gonna get sucker punched? There's more going on here than a simple oh. accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Well, I guess I got sucker punched with plot. All right, who are you? Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room Wait, doesn't what? show signs of overheating. Heat stroke. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh, there's more on him. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. How cold is the lab? Is it covered in vapor? Oh yeah, it's cold in here. So, let me guess, he had the same sickness as Freeze? And his body temperature drops, so technically to him he's dying of heat stroke? If I were to unthaw you, you'd probably die of heat stroke too, wouldn't you? The trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence. Deceased? Oh, you're dead. Oh, shit. Two men struggled. One what? One ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. And who the hell he kill? I mean, not kill. I guess this might be Freeze. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. And then he realized. He went, oh shit. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. So why did they fight? What's that about? Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo-vapors from the resulting explosion. So why did they fight? For what reason did they fight? Huh. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Oh, Someone I see. Assaulted freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. Was it boil? So boil made it out. So they made a freeze gun. And boy was like, I want that. And he's like, no, it's bad. And then he went, fuck you. Guards, get him. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze. And fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris.
Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The oh, fluid his must wife. have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. All right, so am I following the? Uh... Oh no, I'm just scanning this. Okay. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo weapons program within Goth Corp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. And that's why everyone loves Victor Freeze. Oh, man. I'm trying to remember. Because I know, I know the, uh... I know the story of, like, Victor trying to save his wife came from the animated series. But I'm not sure if Mr. Freeze came from the animated series. I think he did. So did Harley Quinn, right? The super coolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Damn. It still hits every time. You know, no matter what, no matter what incarnation it is, when it involves Victor Freeze and his wife, it hits every goddamn time. Even even the Harley Quinn show, right? Which is nothing but pure comedic, like, pure comedy, right? Even then, it hits. But then Victor Freeze's wife is just like, well... <laughs> Spoilers for the Harley Quinn show. They're like, well, she's like, well, Mr. Freeze is dead. Guess I'll, uh, guess go get my groove on. You guys only invited me because you killed my husband. Alfred, then according <laughs> to the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crime. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Goth Corp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. <laughs> he's like, not for Victor. I'm a... That man's gonna go out. But he's gonna go out on his terms. I'm a fuck up boil, though. <laughs> he's like, I'm a fuck up. You know what I'm gonna do when I get out of here? I'm gonna have candy pour me a nice hot bath. And then I'm gonna drown you in it. Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Oh, you completely and utterly dead. Get over here, you nasty bugger. Pull your scrawny little neck of my head. So I just strangle some sense into you. Boss, you gotta calm down. We'll get you out of there. Somehow. Trying to escape? Huh? Trying to get out of there? Oh, shit. I love how you say think fast and then you waited like a whole good minute to throw it. Is that it? Oh shit. I didn't know who was still up. Cave, you hear me? 
Sounds like a plan. All right, so where the hell am I going? Oh, you're a cold-hearted bastard, you know that. Come on, man. Uh, you got me. Yeah. Name it. It's yours. See you later, penguin. Oh, hey, man, you look pretty cold. You can use a hug. Let me reason. You're not gonna die here now, are ya? Are ya? Holy... Thanks. Thanks. Dude, that's like fucking pouring salt on the wound. Batman, can you let me go? You're not gonna die. Nope, not my problem. Guy next to him. Thanks, Batman! You pointed at, freak! All right, guess we're coming to the end of the DLC. Shut the hell up, Penguin. Still gotta blow up that thing in that room. I'm getting ready to blow it up. Something's gotta get blown up. Kick it open. Yeah. Call them a plebe? Come on, that's the that's insults that I use. Money, no resources. Everything around you I built. Without me, you'd still be turning animals into ice cubes. Hey man, he may not have wealth or status. But he's fucking hundred times more the man than you are. Victor, you have to let him go. I'm taking my life. You can't stop me. I know the truth, and so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident! You don't know what you're talking about! You don't actually accidentally hit someone in the face with a goddamn gun. Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. And because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. He may be evil. Now get in here and find the madman. Oh, some of them really turned on Penguin, huh? Uh, you can overload those cryogenerators using your thermal gloves. Look for the control panels. What? Can't you see that we are unlike Batman, both doing what we must for what is right? What do you see? Now, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Joke will not mask your feet, Batman. He's escaped. Focus, okay, so what am I doing? It's these? This is what I'm doing? Oh, heat it up, warm it up, and then it'll call them to my location. Oh, I'm out of here. You need to see me. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm speed running this bitch. Man, you goons are fucking terrible. Oh shit. Where's the last reactor? Oh, it's over there. Are you looking at it, Freeze? I want to wait till you go to the other side. 
What's that? Maybe I can distract you. Go check that out, Freeze. That was the bat. Find him. See how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs. Come on, heat it up, baby. Oh shit. <laughs> that seems like a problem. Oh, don't think I can take him on one on one. Seems like a problem. All right. Oh shit, you still see me. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of places I can drop ice cubes on. Don't move, freeze. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't you move. Damn it. Are they going to do a repeat of the Arkham City fight? Where he, like, adapts? What the fuck? Did he just <laughs> knock out one of the goons? Oh my god. There we go. Do I have to get down there to hurt you? I don't think so. What the hell happened to you? Now get in here and find the Batman. What do you see? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I didn't expect everyone to be looking that way. I knew Freeze was there, but I didn't know the other two were like looking. Oh, I gotta warm that up. How the hell? You guys are all fucking huddled up together. Making it really difficult. What? I don't have thermal protection anymore? You know what? It makes sense because I'm wearing a thermal suit. So, of course, of course they're gonna see me. He's out here freezing his own Not fucking guys. Alright, cool. While you do that, Freeze, I'll be doing this. Land right on top of him. Are you fucking kidding me? The timing on that. What? Oh, so you just decide to turn around at the last moment possible? That's cool. Uh, I didn't see nothing wrong with that. There you go. That's for you. I just need to get you out of the picture. You lost your resolve. I remain as strong as ever. You alive? Yeah, man. I am. You ain't taking me down. Oh my god, can you stop, like, stop sucking freeze for like two seconds and get away from him? Damn you, Batman, for forcing my hand. Oh, 
Oh wait, what am I doing? Hold up. I'm sitting here staring at him like an idiot. You just do that. Fuck off. Alright, let's... Eat that back up. Got you with that. Alright. Where am I gonna go now? I can... He's calling more ads in. Wait, what did, what did that do? That wasn't supposed to happen, fucking... You guys really need to stop being around one another. Be sure I can't disrupt your shit. What is... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just knocking them out. Stepping all over him. Where the fuck? Where'd you go, Freeze? Search the area. What do you see? Oh my god. Oh shit. Alright. Okay. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying... Oh, what the fuck? Just trying to think of a way. Don't turn around. There we go. Can't really go behind him anymore, right? Can't do any ledge takedowns. Have you lost your resolve? I remain as strong as ever. What does this even do to him? You will not stop me with these toys, Batman. Nothing. Does a whole lot of nothing. To him. Him. in a circle? Because if he is, then I can go in through the vent. Oh, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster. Oh, not here. But here? Definitely. Making it colder? No problem. So I gotta go back to the uh underneath him. I can take him from below. Of course I can get underneath him. No one's gonna stop me. Who's gonna stop me? What the fuck? How do I... Man, I'm sorry, Freeze. It's gotta be done. Oh, fuck you. But you shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. Don't you dare do what I think you're doing. All right. All right. Oh, now you're the boss? 
explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment is failing. Then that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to bypass the trial. Cover. Victor, she died. I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go. No. Oh, oh you're a piece of shit. You're really making me work for it, game. You're really making me work for it. Take a seat, humanitarian. Cryogenic containment restored. I'm sorry, Victor. I can't give you peace, but I can give you justice. Oh, come on, you gotta give me more than that for an ending. Come on, you can't end on a sad note like that. How am I supposed to say Merry, Merry Christmas? North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Oh my God. Pressure from Gotham citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Who will? Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the front runner. And now, damn Captain right. Gotham, where Vicky Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Time to take that shit back. The notoriously elusive underworld crime boss, Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin, as well as a Goth Corp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Oh no, don't give Quincy Sharp any more power. We all know how that turns out. Oh god. Fucking spirit of Arkham bullshit. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost Damn right you do. death earlier this evening. So... Thank you, Batman, for all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top the Batman stories continues. for holiday season. <laughs> so as we here at GNN wish you all a happy GNN. and safe New Year's God damn it. Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. Oh, what comments we got? Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow. The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does. But I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real, all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. Damn, I hope that guy reformed, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What can I say? Actually, a really good good piece of DLC uh actually a really good highlight on a game that's kind of not the best in the Arkhamverse right not a bad game may mind you but not the best right it has its issues it has its flaws it has its collectathons <laughs> right but you know the DLC is a nice little bite size just like Harley Quinn's Revenge but I still, I still feel like it's, uh, actually, it might actually be better than Harley Quinn's Revenge. Yeah, you still play as Batman, right? And I mean, 
it's really it's not that too different of the main game right as opposed to playing as robin but it's still it's still kind of fleshed out a bit you know it's not like it's not like a uh, full dlcs we get now on like the you know playstation 4 xbox one ps5 all the pc shit and xbox series s you know we get like big chunks of dlc now uh but back in like when did this game came out 2013 2014 no no not 2014 definitely 2013 2012 but um you know it's pretty good it's pretty good right uh it's nice i like it the story of it is really nice too it's nice that they wrap up on the whole penguin stuff right because again it felt weird just letting him go at the end of uh Arkham Origins. Victor Freeze definitely got some some good uh some good showtime in here. He deserve he deserves it, right? I wish that it didn't you know, I wish I wish that at least ended with, you know, Bruce Wayne going back home and at least celebrating Christmas or something, or just you know, but it doesn't, right? It's again this is this is DC, this is Batman. We gotta end by being sad and pathetic and feeling sorry for ourselves. <laughs> you know a bittersweet ending where it's like where it's like listen victor i feel for you man i really do and i can't hate you for doing what you're doing but you're doing the wrong thing right and that's something honestly that's something that they really uh did with the um something they really delve into with the comics for um for batman i remember they did a comic run uh I remember hearing it. I didn't read it myself, but they did a comic run where Noir Freeze was finally cured, and then they were like, "Oh shit! So what are we gonna do with Victor now? Is he done being a bad guy? Is he was he really just a bad guy because he needed to protect his wife, or was he using that as an excuse to truly be a bad guy and do bad shit, right? Um, but you know, it's Victor Freeze is such a great character, such a great character, such a character." That has a great premise and is like you really don't need to do much after that like he's a scientist you can sit there and explain all the all the formulas and shit he uses and stuff but you don't even need to do that he's just he's a man who loves his wife right and at the end of the day no matter how much bad shit he does well i can't say no matter how much bad shit he does because you know there's definitely moments where it's like all right you're going you're crossing the line right but at the end of the day you just you just wanna, you, you just like, you get that, you get that urge where you're like, but we can fix this one, right? <laughs> this one we can fix. We can Loki his ass. <laughs> make him, make him not hate us anymore. You know, and that's something that, uh, cold, cold heart babies, what? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> that's something that, um, uh, Fuck, I already lost my train of thought because I saw cold, cold heart babies. Um, shit, what was I saying? Fuck, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh yeah, where, uh, they have moments where, they have moments, where, um, you start, you know, he's one of the characters where you sit there and you go, but we can fix this one, we can make him a good guy, right? And you see that a little bit, because most of the time, most of the time, something always happens, and for a brief moment both both batman and fucking victor freeze would have to team up for a brief moment to solve the problem they have of course batman doing it for you know justice and fucking victor freeze doing it because he's like i need to do this for my wife and you know what i'm holding my my side of the bargain right because say what you want about victor freeze for the most part he's always been a man of his word well i can't say always because i know uh and i know that in the in the 2000s cartoon series the batman again the one with like joker being a fucking weren't having dreadlocks and shit in that series he he doesn't have nor freeze he's just kind of he's just like a he's just a crook right he's just a he's not he's not really a scientist he's just a bad guy right but um man yeah fucking this is great this is a pretty good piece of dlc uh to be honest, they really didn't need to have the section where you go out and fly around, fly around, glide around, um, uh, whatchamacallit, glide around, uh, Gotham, 
to grab the parts they really could have done without that and fleshed out fleshed it out more of a linear style like they did with uh like they did with harley quinn's revenge right make that stand out a little bit more but you know what all in all it's not it's not bad right it's it's been out for a long time if you're gonna pick up the game right you pick up the steam version it's ten dollars on steam for the dlc right uh you know you gotta have the game to play the dlc first of course it's not a standalone dlc you know it's ten dollars and for the most part it usually goes on sale a lot so it goes down to like two or whatever i mean it's it's worth it it's worth it it really it really is worth it and i don't i honestly don't know what else to say i'm happy i played it i'm so happy i played it so happy that i can cross that off off the list of things that i you know things that i played but with that said we're we're finally done with a year later we're finally done with the uh batman um arkham origins playthrough right i know there's a couple of other pieces of dlc that's like challenge maps and stuff like that but you know what fuck it who cares right they're not that cool there's one that's like play as bruce wayne as he was training through the map it's like it doesn't it doesn't give you anything it doesn't it's not worth it it's just a bunch of challenge maps uh, there's like a challenge campaign or whatever, but still, it's it's not like this. It's not fleshed out, right? Uh, so, I think I think it's safe to say we can skip this. Congratulations, sir. Victor, Ferris, and even that scoundrel Cobblepot are all in custody. Shall we call it a night then? Not yet, Alfred. There's still work to be done. The only work to be done is like free the rest of the coppers and anarchy. Stop the riots. Oh, really? Let me... Listen, I'm not gonna do too much, but I just kind of want to see if there's anything they would say. I guess this has to do with the riots of Gotham's reform, right? Of the police reform or whatever. But we got... We already got closure on that. What the fuck? You beating a trash can? <laughs> you beating a dumpster? Hold up. <laughs> what? What is he doing? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe maybe Anarchy might make like an appearance in this DLC or whatever. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna find out. I just kinda want to see what was going on there. But uh <laughs> But yeah. And that's it for Arkham Origins, right? Next time we venture into the world of Batman, we're going to be playing Arkham Knight. Unless, you know, unless I do, you know, depending on how long it takes us to get there. Who knows? Uh, fucking Suicide Squad and Gotham. What, what's the other one called? Gotham Knights? Fucking, I don't remember. Maybe those two will come out before, or maybe I'll play, like, one of the older Batman games or something. But, uh... You know, as of right now, next time, needle. next time we play uh, one of the Arkham games, I plan on it being Arkham Knight. And of course, like the other games we played, uh, for the most part, I'm going to be doing 100% in terms of like, you know, the side quest and stuff like that. Not in terms of the full 100% game of like fucking challenge maps and shit like that, because I ain't got time for that bullshit. So, you know, we'll do that. We'll take a look at the DLCs and stuff like that, you know, because Arkham Knight's pretty good. And going through this series, I'm slowly in my mind still kind of going over what my favorite Batman game is in the Arkham series. I still really love Arkham Asylum. I just love the Metroidvania feel of it and how just like simple it is. And it's like a nice bite sized game. But, you know, but who knows? Maybe revisiting Arkham Knight again will uh will respark my love i'll probably will most likely be playing the ps4 version of that because that's the one where i already have a save file with uh all the fucking riddler shit collected but who knows i might end up playing the pc version we might take a look at the pc version who knows but uh until then i guess you can stay frosty right <laughs> you know 
thank you guys for watching, right? If you are, well, if you are watching this, sorry, I just, again, I just got done with a stream. So, forgive me, I was about to go into my Twitch stuff. But speaking of Twitch, in the description below, it's linked to my Twitch and Twitter if you want to check that out. We just finished Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. That's going to be getting uploaded on the channel. Uh, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, you know, if you like the playthrough, if you like, you know, my content, please subscribe. If you're not, click the bell, get notifications whenever an upload goes up. And, uh, you know, most importantly, if you do, if you honestly did like the playthrough, please leave a like. It really helps out with, with notoriety on YouTube and stuff like that. Get more eyes on the videos so we can have, we can have a nice little community, right? And we can talk about bullshit. And, uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, like, spacing out. I need to get something to eat. <laughs> I really do. But, yeah. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. And also, have a happy holidays. And I wish you a great New Year's. Thank you guys for watching. Chef, 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 chef.